You've had some experience. You've certainly learned from your own experiences about parenting. How do you become a parent coach? Would that be a possibility? Let's get into that. Thank you for even asking the question. You know, parenting is one of those things that somehow we don't get any formal education about. Have you noticed that? It's the most important job in the world, and yet we're pretty much left to our own devices or to what we learned from our own parents. Vicki and I have been doing parent coaching now for a couple of decades, and it's such a powerful way to assist each other to apply principles that allow us to be more positive, effective parents. And what could be more important as we're working with our kids? Could you become a parent coach? Probably so, and you might be closer than you think. Let's talk about what is required. First and foremost, you have to get clear about your why. Why do you want to become a parent coach? And I have a little warning for you. If your answer is, so that I can make tons of money really easily, this is not the right place for you to go. I promise. I'm not saying you can't make some money doing it. I think you can, and I can show you some ways that that might be possible. But if that's your primary motivation, I don't think you'll do the hard things that are required to put yourself in position to do this. There's easier ways to make money. Okay, but if your why has to do with your belief, like I have, that parenting is the most important job in the world, and that there's really good people like yourself who are looking for support, who want to know that they're not alone in this world, and maybe there are some principles that can help them to become the parent that they promised themselves they would be. If your motivation is then in that area, I think you've got a good shot at this. There's still some things that you would need to do to put yourself in position to do it. Consider first the why. That's number one. Here's another truth that I've learned. Coaches need coaching. I am pretty confident that at this point in my career, I have paid more for my personal coaching than any of my single clients have paid me. Now, collectively, I'm in a place where I've been able to make a very profitable coaching career, and that's why I might be able to help you do a similar thing. My point here, though, is that coaches need coaching. Are you open to and willing to accept and pay for some coaching of your own? There's a couple of reasons for this. I think that coaching helps us to get out of our own way. I'm not aware of my own blind spots. That's why we call them blind spots. My coaches have helped me to see what those are and to get out of my own way so that I can actually be a more powerful, productive coach. The other reason that I would encourage that you consider coaching for yourself is because it gives you credibility with your potential clients in the future. Are you really willing to do what you're asking them to do? That's important. I also think that it demonstrates some humility. I'm also an author. Well, guess what? Authors need to read more books than they write. Does that sound a little funny to put it that way? You've got to be reading if you want to be a writer, and you need to be receiving some coaching if you want to be a good coach. So look for someone that you can trust to do some coaching with you helping you get out of your own way and putting you in a position where you'll have more credibility and confidence going into this. Right along with that last point, I think we also need to get some training. Training is a little different from coaching. It's a more formalized way of getting some processes and models in place that you can actually use to help people. If you don't have your own models, don't worry about that too much. There's other people who have already created models that you can tap into. And most of these organizations offer some level of training to help bring you up to speed so that you know what you're going to be teaching or coaching people on. Another possible word of warning here, 
Coaching can be kind of a lonely endeavor. I think it's really important for you to get some support. Get into a group or an organization where you can actually rub shoulders with others who are doing the same thing. Share ideas, get into mastermind groups. Support is an important part of providing coaching to other people. It's one of those things that's going to help you to stay out of your own way and to have fresh ideas and places where you can share those ideas and get feedback about them. Create a network, colleagues, mastermind groups, support groups of people who understand you and support you in your purpose, in your why that we talked about earlier. Now, can I say just a word about certification? Some organizations out there are offering certification for coaches. I have an organization that offers certification. Certification is an interesting concept. Basically what it means is here's an established organization or group or association that's willing to put a stamp of approval on you to go out and do what you're saying you can do. The field of coaching is really interesting because, well, the good news is anybody can get in. And that's good news, right? The bad news is anybody can get in. I know, the good news and the bad news are exactly the same thing. Certification is something that can help to set you apart as someone who actually knows what they're doing and that has some reason for saying that. A certification with a reputable organization can give you more confidence. And not only that, it can give your clients more confidence that what they're signing up for here is something that they can trust, something that is actually going to improve their life. And it sets you apart from people who are not as serious or principled as you are about the purpose for which you're even asking this question in the first place. So if it's appropriate for you, get a certification and be selective about who or what entity is certifying you to do this kind of work. Coaching is something that is really needed by a lot of people. And going back to my example about sports, I love to follow the, the NBA and particularly the Utah Jazz. And I've seen that these amazing players, Donovan Mitchell comes to mind, I love that kid. And he is such a phenomenal basketball player and he is very open to coaching from his coach, Quinn Snyder. Well, Quinn isn't as good a player as Donovan, but because he's put himself in a position to be a coach at that level, Donovan's game improves because coach Quinn is there. And that's a perspective that I want you to keep in mind. You don't have to be better than the people that you're coaching. In fact, you probably aren't in a lot of ways. They have skills and abilities and techniques. Your job as a coach is to help them get out of their own way and put them in a position to win. It's important in the MBA. How much more important is it in parenting, raising this next generation of people who are going to literally run the world? I gave you a lot of things to think about. I'm not going to leave you hanging. I've got programs available. I offer coaching. If you're interested in taking this to the next level, I'm on your team. Come to Live On Purpose Central. There's a website, click on the link down below, go.liveonpurposecentral.com. Inside of Live On Purpose Central, we've got coaching options that are available to put you in a position to actually do this. Come play.